Lars, pwede pa ilagay yung Twitch chat natin dito para makita natin kung ano, kung may questions tayo. Pero okay. Simulan natin one by one. Okay. Tingin mo? Or do you wanna give yung overall summary mo muna? I think let's, let's do one by one. Okay. So let's more... do one by one. Alright. So, simulan natin sa rosters and DPC points. Okay. So, ang nakalagay dito, next season, players and teams will have increased flexibility to find the right blend of personality and playstyle needed to claim the Ages of Champions. So that effect, 2019 season will no longer regulate player movement via hard roster lock and changing rosters during the season will no longer disqualify a team from DPC consideration. So long story short, no hard roster lock mm -hmm. except for at the end, uh, at the beginning of the TI regional qualifier. Yeah. So any team and any manager, uh, any manager can remove a player, any player can remove, from exit, uh, can, exit, can from exit a team. A team. When they do, minus 20% of points earned yung team. Yeah. DPC points are now given to the teams themselves and not to the players. Mm -hmm. Right? And if a team competes without their official five-man roster, their points earned from any event is reduced by 40%. So if they were to get 100 points, they can only get 60, 60 points. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, meron dito na halagay kung kailan ba isasubmit yung official na rosters nyo. Okay? So, Ren, what do you think about this one? Uh, it's, it's a, I think it's a welcome change. Mm -hmm. uh, for the longest time, I felt that the roster lock, at least lalo na sa mga lower levels, is really unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It's been forcing teams to play together when they really shouldn't kasi... Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a good. I don't know what's the word. Masarap isipin na. Kailangan you stay together. Yeah, you have to stay together to develop your team. But at the same time, sometimes you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But the system forced teams to stick together until there comes a time. Alam nila na talagang breaking point na or let's say kung yare. Past the point of reasonability. Kung yare this at this season yung wala talaga ng chance magqualify. That's where they do changes. Uh, pero I think there's yung 20% kasi uh, you can think a lot of possible bad scenarios about this mm. one people might abuse this mm -mm. but it doesn't uh, hindi porket pwede siya gawin doesn't mean it's the, it's going to happen yeah. it's going to happen or it's a good thing to do for a team right especially if you're a team with points mm. uh, especially this coming season where sa change the status of points where teams are gonna get points in every as long as they qualify for a minor or major mm -mm. It's gonna be different in a way na hindi na lang ilang teams ang in contention for actual TI invite mm -hmm. as it is right now. Now we're only looking at kung yare we're we're in the last big event, uh, but we're only looking at kung yare at this scale at this point in time may dalawa tat dalawa tatlong teams lang ang possible magadvance. Uh, here I think it's gonna be more balanced. Mm -hmm. Though of course, if one team is performing really well, that's there's an outlier. But uh, uh, that's that's you know that's putting the matters in their own hands. Uh, as far as the players are concerned, and as far as the teams are concerned, there's a lot of freedom, which I think is necessary. Though I, I guess there's some bad thing, uh, but there, it definitely has its pros. Uh, uh. I think for me, well, I mentioned this. Uh, I, I think I should you know elaborate on a tweet that I sent out yesterday. Mm -hmm. I posted on Facebook as well. I like this change because, tulad ng ano sabi mo, maraming beses sa loob ng Dota or actually in most esports where you can tell when the team should disband and siguro or reform or change a rost or change a part of their roster, because unlike in sports where the competition is spaced out evenly because of the physical aspect, you're all playing together, a lot of a lot of games together, a lot of events together. Plus, you're in a boot camp system, so you're all parang in a pressure cooker and a lot of the times ma you can tell mga siguro after three or four months this is not going to work yeah that's unlike in sports in sports you don't a basketball team in NBA doesn't live in one house yeah plus plus the, the, the schedule in, in uh -huh. sports is dense exactly uh, it's not like nga, basketball nga, na. you, yeah. you can play one opponent per week uh -huh. and you ha you can you know, develop your own skills mm -hmm. every day but you can develop your actual team play against a team once uh -huh. per week or once every few days in e sports you do it multiple times per yeah. day or in a week you have onlines and then you have qualifiers and it's and not even you scrims lands. you have actual events exactly. for esports that's the thing that 
you know, ideally, yung, yung, yung span natin is it's, mm-hmm. it's a much faster than traditional sports right now. So that's one reason kung bakit I, I see a lot of people going na, ay, nako, baka pwedeng magtanggal na lang, magtanggal na lang, magtanggal ng players. Um, again, in esports, there is a legitimate reason to have more aggressive roster changes. Pero in this season, tinanggal nila yon. So now you see peep rosters imploding, actually, ngayong season. Di ba? No, actually, uh, ako this season, I would have mm. love. Mm-mm. Ang gusto ko sana nangyari is they allowed roster changes Mm-mm. to anyone outside the top eight. Yes, yes, I That's agree. That's something I would have loved to see because uh, looking at the teams on the top, these are not the teams who would change rosters. Yes. And teams on the bottom, they're the ones who, you know, who wants who to find... Who need it, actually. Who, who, need needs, it. who yeah. needs the change and who wants to find the winning formula. Mm-hmm. And now you see teams now on the rise but are not eligible for ah, invite yeah. despite of how well Beachy they perform. Game Storm, Storm, finally. Literally. Yeah, Resolution found a home. I think that's something then, uh, you know, discouraging for them. Uh, maybe it's not just about the money, but for them, uh, kahit anong gawin nila, they cannot qualify yeah, anymore. Yeah. Uh, they're not even qualified for regional qualifiers. Uh-huh. Kahit gano aganda nung bounce back once, they f- once Resolution found the winning formula, if he fails in the open qualifiers, which are a bunch of best of one, so anything can happen, wala. Parang, That's all for not. Wala. Yeah. Parang walang nangyari. Diba? So, yun yung, ano, yun yung parang issue doon. Now, again, there are some things in place. So, for example, yung, the moment uh, you drop a player, minus 20% ka agad. Mm-hmm. And then, if you compete in a minor or, or, or any event, you are already automatically reduced 40%. So, kunwari, ang, what, ang basa ko dito is, if at September, Sinabi ko, ang team ko is si Ren, ako, si Nico, si Alo, si BYB. And then, after ilang buwan, tinanggal natin si BYB, sabi natin. Mm-hmm. So, automatically, minus points na kami. Let's say we had 100 points. So, 80 points na lang tayo. Right? 20% of yes. it, matanggal. The next event na pupuntahan namin, let's say we would have gotten 100 points, we would only get 60 points. I don't think that's so the case. There, diba? I don't think that's the case. Pero yun yung nakalagay, diba? Well, but, but you can change your official five man yeah. roster. It's not your original five man roster. Right, right. But as long as you change it, okay lang. Ah, okay. Uh, that's that's how I understand it. But pero yun, pero that's one of those things na hindi siya nakastate dito. Yeah. So yun yung parang magiging question mark mo dun. Once you remove a player, do you need to resubmit? You probably that, do. Diba? Something that we don't know yet is yeah. it's official five man roster now. Uh-huh. Ngayon, meron tayong six team rosters. Uh-huh. That's actually the standard ngayon because uh-huh. you're Kasi meron kang sub. sub. Uh, may sub. But now, they only base the five. Uh-huh. They only base it of five man roster, uh-huh. which is something for me is interesting. Yeah. That's true. So yun, di ba yun yung mga mga weird scenarios na hindi pa natin masyadong alam. So yun yung question mark. Is it going to happen that way na? Yun nga. Nag- nag-declare kami na ito yung official namin. We removed one player so nabawasan kami ng points. So next na event do we have to redeclare yung bago naming sinama? Is that our new official now? I think it's or? Good, otherwise, the, the compounding 40% is going to Exactly, be, because sobrang <laughs> sakit. Be, yeah. Diba? It's when you remove a player, your first event is essentially minus 60 points, 60% kana. Mm-hmm. Right? So, hindi pa natin alam. So, ito yung may tanong si Alaska dito. Meaning ba nun, if a team changes roster, lahat na ng points makukuha nila forever is 40% na lang? That's, we don't know. It, We're not sure yet. We're it, not it, sure. It it's probably not going to be the case. Siguro sasabihin ni Valve and is... You're gonna have a new official roster uh, once you change your team? Uh, uh, I think that's for the case of stand-ins. Na ngayon kasi yes. pag stand-ins, they reduce your points by 20 25, per- 20, uh, 25%. 20, yeah, 20, 25 percent, like yeah. So, so I, think, I think yun yung 40 percent. My other... So again, I like this. I like this because yun nga, even if sabihin natin, pag nag-declare kayo na ito yung bago naming form, uh, five man, hindi kayo matatamaan ng 40%, but you will be hit with that minus 20%. That's just what happens when th- what happens when you remove a player. My concern lang, it's not really a concern na bago, pero I think that is a big incentive ngayon for players na nasa tier 1.5, tier 2 teams to be smarter with their careers. Kasi there's go- there might be chances here na Tina try out kayo ng team, hindi siya nag-work, tata- nag-qualify kayo for something, tatanggalin ka agad. And if you don't have protection for yourself in the form of a good contract, that 
might be a problem for you going forward sa season na to because there's not going to be a lot of bargaining power on your end to join another team because you're not bringing points with you. But, and we talked about this kahapon, yeah. there's a good window of opportunity naman dito to strengthen contracts between teams and players yeah. kasi alam na natin kung nasan lahat ng events. This goes both ways as well kasi yeah. there's, also, there's also some risk for teams. Actually, mm-hmm. if you follow teams now, Oh, we cannot say, but mm-hmm. we know that the prices for acquiring teams or for running teams is getting more and more it's expensive. More expensive yeah, exactly. Even for, let's say, Southeast Asian teams, yeah. it's super Even expensive. Even for the regions now, it might seem like it's not that mahal. Yeah. yeah. It's really, you no, know, it's it, the incentive for keeping a team or running a team. Mm-hmm. Uh, kumbaga kung sa business, meron kang business na where you earn money mm-hmm. and there's business where you lose money. Mm-hmm. Running a team right now is something that, <laughs> that a lot of orgs are ah. losing money mm-hmm. and they're trying to get it off on other purposes but with price pool being so, you know, with top events heavy. being ah. so top heavy, it's ah. very difficult for them. Ah. Uh, this change is... Mm-hmm. Because uh, now, if you're looking at the points natin ngayon, maybe for the top two, three teams, hindi ganon kalaki twenty percent. Ah. But if you look at the top six, seven, eight, yeah. If, if, if you if only you, have a hundred points, if you count their twenty percent, that means that's, 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 that's a difference uh, from them qualifying to or, them yeah. not being qualified. Uh, I think if that's the case ngayon, it, it will be even more of a case next year. Yeah, With that's true. Every team getting points, I think it's and I guess it makes more sense to. Be aggressive on your rosters the earlier it is for you in the season. Exactly. Because wala pang yeah. different, wala pang yeah. wala sa yeah. But at the same time, Kayo pang habulin. Ang, ang malaki pa lang nitong, uh, important factor to have to consider is again, we're, we're assuming because we don't know points Exactly. That's we don't defi- know how much. That's definitely a big uh, factor here. Kung na na yeah, how much mo we mo. have. Toto. Now, we, later on, we will talk about that because now participating in the minor or the major automatically gives you points, even if you're last place. Even if you're Navi. I mean, na- last place. So. <laughs> Did you just. <laughs> Navi is, is not good, guys. <laughs> it hasn't been good for years. Wake up. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yun nga, ngayon, with the new changes, minors and majors are. Uh, they, uh, they award points to everyone. But we don't know what the breakdown is. We don't know how, much, how many points there are to go around. So, 20%. Because it's a variable, it can be very, very big or insignificant. But thing as it is, it, it sounds uh, it sounds of a reasonable punishment enough to, yes. to keep yes. or prevent teams from doing from that. From just especially, removing players. Especially Totoo. later on in the season. Uh-oh. Totoo. So, uh, those are siguro the concerns. There. Mo- most of it is good pa rin. So, may question si Cornflakes22. Pero kung need mo mag-resubmit ng new roster, magre-reset din kaya yung DPC points as a team? Or as long as walang team name team name change hindi mag reset yung DVC points to zero I don't think it works that way I don't think it works that way because you can't change your entire roster you can't kick all of the players out well you can but you lose all your points yeah y- y- when you do you will lose all of your points to zero pero it's not because you changed your name as a team kasi like for example nakalagay dito in order to join the qualifiers you, can, you need to have at least four out of five of your original roster na declare mo right so, if you remove all of your players, you just destroyed your own org. If you had 100 points, you remove all five, you're, you're down to zero. Right? And as, or as long as walang team name change, hindi magre-reset yung DPC points. Panong, what does that mean? Walang team name change. I don't think teams change their... Yeah, maybe at the sponsor, pero not, maybe not yeah. completely yeah. Digital change. Chaos went to Chaos, pero they still retain a lot of their... Well, it was a rebrand, but you know. I think that no, that's irrelevant. Yeah, yun nga, that's I, think, irrelevant. I think hindi siya relevant masyado. So, uh, Cornflakes22, I think ang ibig sabihin nito is, ano siya, um, pag nag-submit ng new roster, if you remove all five of your players, you're dead. You're, you're dead as a team. Right. Sabi ni Kuya Pogs, boss, wanna discuss nyo ba kahapon yung... We discussed namin ngayon, Kuya Pogs. Uh, that's actually next. Right, that's actually next. Mag-change roster ba fanatic for TI sa open? TNC kung di... Uh, we'll answer that mamaya, HM ma- Master, pero I don't think they're going to change anything. Uh, I don't think they're going to change anything. Anyway, sige. So, is there anything else na questions about yung roster and DPC points? Mm. Anything else that we're seeing? 
I think ang isa pang interesting dito is mm. yung yung registration ba ng official five-man roster. Yes. Since they're implying that you cannot join any qualifiers nga without joining a uh, uh, without having at least uh, four yeah. of your five players. Yeah. Does that mean uh, before an event you can just you know play with a stand-in and Totoo. play with four players? Yeah. And uh, here, kasi it doesn't mean uh, you're gonna lose points based on this. Uh-uh. I'm not sure if they're gonna retain the old system. Yeah. But from here, you can basically use a stand-in and okay lang as long as you're yeah, playing. Yeah, this is the first one. You don't have points. No, even in the latter ones. As oh, long yeah, as you're yeah. playing for your, for, for your, for four your players. Four of your five, yeah. Wala namang issue dito as far as this is concerned. Uh, a team's admin can remove... When, a, when playing in a minor or major qualifier, teams must always use at least four of their five registered players. I think that's that's kind of... Yeah. Like you can throw in anyone basically. Mm. You can you can perpetually bench one of your players without them leaving your team. Yeah. Which is... The problem, <laughs> which which can you know, which can which is really a problem, happen. which a which is a big problem. For example, we saw that happen with, or we saw allegations of this with Fnatic before, right? right. Na gusto ibang ko si Net. Yeah, that I think that's a, the closest example that we had. Na, na, but that was coming from a sub. This is yeah. maybe even more cutthroat because yes, uh, you're yes. not necessarily a sub, but yeah. they took you a stand-in and they bench oh. you. Kinuha ka lang stand-in ka pero ibabang ko ka, so essentially you're not playing. You're not playing. You are exiled, essentially. You are not in the competition at all to get to TI. So, and again, as a player, if you're not protected, that's going to be a big problem for you. No, I guess if you're with the team, you're still eligible for a prize. You're you're eligible <laughs> for a prize, but that's come on. <laughs> come on but, but, but when you think about it, it happens in sports. It happens in sports. Uh, people it happens get, people in sports. Bench, right? People get bench. People get bench. Rodney was complaining, and he's not getting first time in his life like in DNP. Yeah, yeah. And Dwight Howard towards the end of his career. I think I think it really happens, but yeah, might be uh-huh. a bit more suspect. Considering the career lifespan of esports totoo, players and totoo. all these things, but I, 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 th- I still think it's, it's potential grounds for abuse. So, the, I think this will be resolved the moment Valve talks to teams inevitably at TI or at the conclusion of TI, because there needs to be a bulletin sent to the teams. Now, what from what we've understand with this announcement, nga, Valve hasn't talked to the the teams and players and organizers. So, titingnan natin what can, how can this be clarified? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's going to clarify this, at least on the manager level ng mga teams. Yeah, right? isa pa problem that I see hmm. people raising is, is the poaching. Ah, the problem of yeah. poaching. Yeah. It would happen for sure in the lower level. Yes. Where yes. in Ulanimus, Ulanimus silang points to begin with, uh-huh. so. You basically can, you know, if there's a rising star from a team, you can just oh, get it. Na lang, dito ka na lang maglaro. On the other hand, you can also potentially destroy a team by poaching their players. Right, right. Because hey, they're, gonna, uh, they're going to be, lose They're effectively losing at least 20% of their uh, points and they're going to change their rosters or they're going to get, they're uh, going to lose more points there. Actually, that's a, no, that's a good point, no? Because with poaching, kunwari, again, let's use the example that na we used earlier. Mm-hmm. If yung team natin has 100 points and yung team ni Alo, for example, uh, yung team ni Alo, pinoach niya sa atin si ikaw, mm-hmm. and pumayag ka, you break your contract with us, or mm-hmm. because wala tayong kontrata, sumama ka na lang dun, mm-hmm. you lose 20 points. We yeah. lose 20 points, and if wala silang points, they don't lose anything. Yeah. So, nalugi pa yung na, nasulutan. Not just that, if you time it correctly, oo. Possible din hindi ka makasali ng hindi ka makasali ng qualifiers Totoo. even if you lose your rosters and of un bad timing. Toto. And if yung nga because we don't know kung kailang ka mag mag re register for an official lineup. Na poach na tayo na minus na patay ng bente na points mm-hmm. twenty percent of points. Pag sali pa natin ng ibang ano minus forty percent minus forty percent patay ng potential earnings. So I think yeah, this is just gonna be masakit. So on one hand, you can look at it as this is now incentive for managers na wag magsulutan because it's mutually assured destruction. Kapag nanulot kayo, mm-hmm. it's going to be an ugly drama, it's going to be bad for everyone, wag na lang tayo magsulutan. Let's Kailan all medyo, own medyo. it. <laughs> pero, it's, wishful, it's very, it's very, very wishful. Very, okay, on one hand, you can look at it that way, okay. pero in Another. on the other hand, on the tier 2 level, they will not care. They will try and poach the best players palagi. Right, so, mm-hmm. hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam kung paano nila gagawin yun. So, tignan natin kung paano mangyayari. Hindi natin alam kung, again, kung wala pang, 
Um, until meron tayong marinig na... Kasi pero pag implementing rules and regulations, hindi rin nilalabas ni Valve. Eh. It's directly to the managers. Eh. So hopefully, maayos nila. Pero this might be something na ma- manager to manager na lang yung mag-manage. Manager to manager mag manage Can they even reach a tier to teams? So probably meta because I don't think this is gonna be a big problem for tier mm. one teams. Yeah, the chances are now you're gonna poach a player from from the VPs and the liquid no, is, no. is very very, very low. low. It's very Unless very you're low. offering maybe ten million. I mean, but it happened to EG and OG. Uh, well, e- that's EG and yeah, but but e- e- that was that was also <laughs> as a matter of, ano na lang eh, parang desperation na on on the players' ends, de ba? Pero anyway, yun yung banggit namin. Majority of the change is good, pero there are some, dahil hindi natin alam kung paano siya gagawin, meron siyang mga weird na pwedeng mangyari that can potentially be harmful. So, titignan natin. But I do think it's a lot better than what we had this season. Ah. Kes- kesa sa hard luck na ginawa natin. Yes, yung hard luck was to masyadong uh, pressure. Alright, let's see some questions bago tayo pumunta sa next natin na topic. Shoutouts. By the way, niraid, niraid ba tayo ng ano? Nila Eugene? I uh, don't think so. Parang oh wait, pando ah okay okay sige so shoutouts pala sa mga galing sa kay Kuya Nick. I think nagaghintay daw for ano for the next game. May question kanina si Kuya Pogs. Pwede natin i akyat para makita natin yung question ni Kuya Pogs kanina. Ito na mahirap dun sa ano natin. <laughs> Wala akong Twitch dito eh. Kasi can't run Twitch. Yeah, yeah. but I, I can't sleep if I have Twitch. <laughs> oh. I have Twitch sa cellphone ko. Um, shoutouts kay King Paranoia, kay Rudolph1234, J. Franchi. Ah, pakit pa konti. Uh, yan, up, stop. Mag-change. No. No, no, no. King Paranoia, pab- pinabati ko kayo sa nasa Las Vegas. Siya asawa niyang si Celine. Alright, sige. Paba na pala tayo. Okay na pala yan. Um, tanong ni Cornflakes uh, Dapat talaga magkaroon ng standard points sa contract ng pro players Tapos additional points na lang exclusive per org Magandang protection yun sa players I'm not sure if that's going to be enough Or if that's a good idea I think awarding it to the team is good I think it's good Kasi in the past, players have had so much more power Sa scene natin compared to the orgs um, ever since, in my head, yeah, wha- to- what happened with, and, with uh, era? You know, talking to teams. Uh-uh. Uh, Alam teams ngayon ang discouraged. No? Not ngayon, but mm. for the longest time, discouraged to put up a team. Because mm. it's nga from the usual problems that we have and the cost. Mm-hmm. We have this, you know, these things happening na yung authority ng players over teams. Mm-hmm. Plus with the poaching problems. Uh, I think having the points a team somehow gives them some sort of leverage. Tata. And there's some another advantage we're gonna talk about in the later points natin. Mm-hmm. Subuhan na. Sig- tignan natin kung ano. Tignan natin kung pwede. Ako, in my head, I think it's good. I think the, it's good na the points go to the teams nga. Kasi, in the past, if a player doesn't like anything, they can go straight to Valve and something's going to be done about it. And sometimes, Nga, the the org is left out in the dust and if the org is left out in the dust there's no money coming into the scene in terms of development without development we can't have a scene so you see it for example in China the reason why and this is a good segue to the next topic in China the reason why there's a lot of orgs that are owned by one 